Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. Thank you for staying with us this evening as we continue to cover breaking news from Southington, where sources tell us a state trooper has been killed in a crash on I-84. It's the breaking news we have been following for you uh, since it happened just before 4 o'clock here as uh, we've been following for you. We're talking about a deadly crash right near exit 31 in Southington. You definitely need to avoid this area as I-84 is shut down in both directions. This could be shut down for the next several hours if not through the evening as the investigation ensues. We're looking at video that has just been sent back to our newsroom from the scene as the very solemn investigation unfolds as police are investigating the death of one of their own. Uh, we have been told that they would like to wait on releasing the name as they're concerned about next of kin uh, for this trooper who has been killed. We're also following a scene, a secondary scene, where many police surrounded a red truck. We don't know exactly what that has to do with the death of this trooper, but we are waiting to get more information as this investigation unfolds. Uh, so we definitely want you to avoid the area of I-84 in Southington. And as we stay on top of this story and learn more about how sources are telling us that a state trooper has died in this crash. Channel 3's Eliza Krasinski is live in Southington with more on what she is seeing right now. Eliza. Kara, even from the distance we're at here, it's you can feel the pain that these troopers are going through. Take a look here. This is as close as we can get. We're at the Mobile and 110 Grill on West Street, about a mile away. Dozens of flashing lights. Traffic stopped for miles. People being rerouted off of I-84, I-84 east and westbound in Southington by exit 31 are closed at this time. When we were driving here, we kind of got a glimpse and it's it's gut wrenching just to see the highway closed on top of all of these dozens of police cars. Again, this is as close as we can get. That overpass that you see right there, that is Jude Lane. We have a crew that's heading there uh, right now to kind of get a better vantage point, but that looks like where this crash happened. So again, all we know right now, like Kara said, this highway is shut down. Please seek alternate routes. That state trooper um, has died, according to our sources. But this back road area, West Street, where we are right now, this is also a backup. Um, it's a mess. I mean, these on-ramps, you can see police facilitating trucks and cars coming off of the highway being redirected through different areas. We came from Rocky Hill and we went through uh, the Bristol area off of, you know, back roads. There's not really an easy way to get here and then get around. So it is pretty intense here. Police officers speeding down. I can actually I can actually hear some in the distance right now as well. Uh, police officers have been coming down. You know, they. this is also not just, you know, emotional for the people seeing this, but also those troopers who have to um, go through something like this. You know, you, you don't even want to imagine that happening. And these those troopers who are out on the highway right now dealing with this awful tragedy, um, you know, we will have any updates as we get them. Like Kara said, more updates when next of kin is notified. Um, but Kara, I am going to send it back to you. Seek alternate routes. Again, like you said, we don't know how long this whole area is going to be shut down, um, but state police do warn it could be several hours. We will have updates throughout the early evening newscasts here on Eyewitness News. Kara, I'm going to send it back to you. Very sad story.